Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today, tonight, whatever is for you we have a gameplay in the Siegfried, a very good game not records, score games, but a pretty one to share with you all here is a commander we are using to get the penetration of the AP as good as possible with Einstein for the terror traverse and a Norman Scott for some dispersion cut Siegfried it doesn't known to be for the dispersion build like most cruisers are because it has I think kinda like battleship turrets so the dispersion tend to be pretty bad most of the time but when it hits it hits very well like you can see over here that was a tier 6 so we could do a little bit more damage but in some scenarios like a tier 7 you're gonna need more than that to do some damage here we are we spawn left which happens most of the time when you are in division and especially on this map I think it's north but there's a few times where we spawn on the right side which is I don't know which side is better but I'm guessing either left or right it's a very good position to depend a lot if it's gonna be a win or a loss because it's one side that you can control easily and takes more time but at some point you can get the job done as long as you have enough patience and don't go crazy on it no matter what ship you are using for and on this scenario we don't have any destroyer to spot for us or hold this cap so we are about to do it we have torpedoes a pretty decent armor for most ships to bounce except if uh, they hit uh, the bow not sure about the Flandre didn't check if that specific gun can overmatch me but at some point when he's gonna hit me he ain't gonna do anything I'm guessing he hit the armor belt or something and at the same time we have some crossfire as long as our team spots some ships for us so we can help them and do our job at the same time because as you see here it's about time for one of the team to lose its patience and just go forward here my teammate was spotted and got hit pretty hard by a Kansas that's not a joke you don't want to be brought straight to a Kansas and I was pretty lucky not to be spotted by anybody otherwise I think either I will be dead or I'll be the one to take this amount of damage now Siegfried like most people same with me we don't play a lot this ship which I guess I'm gonna try to take it more now that we have a better commander to use for it something that we didn't have when that ship was introduced to a campaign tier 7 that we had I guess two years maybe less than two years ago uh, must be less because it was I believe the time when Wargaming introduced to us the armor viewer and we could finally see all the weaknesses and strength of most ships in the game and till this day that helps a lot here we're getting disappointed RNG for us the dispersion is not the best so that's the last time we're gonna shoot on the right because now we're gonna focus on what's in front of us because they kind of lose their patience and you lose your patience you lose your game it might be not every time but at this situation right here you just want to hold as much as you can especially right now the enemy does a good job of killing my team and at this point I thought I might get the Flandre because maybe he was using uh, engine boost to get as much speed as he can and start doing some crazy maneuvers to help his team win but he's gonna help his team 
loose and here we're just getting a pretty good damage even though it's not gonna be the one to kill him we're gonna get disappointed but we are just testing and see where we can hit so we can do as much damage as much you can and he just changed his mind why would you do that you push forward you had something in your mind finish it so we're not gonna allow the skill or with the will to rebuild to help that guy so we secure the win what we have next Vladivostok another BB decided to push forward alone but got very lucky by touching the island just enough to stop him and move backwards we ain't gonna get any major hits on him even though that was a pretty good one not over pen just a normal penetration but we're gonna finish our job by finish the Vladivostok if not now later on and that's I guess where most German cruisers or you can say battleships sign the most when you choose the perfect time to push forward and show them what you made of like the captain says sometime so instead of finishing the Leon I was just curious to see how much damage can I do and here I lost my mind so we finished him no we're not because we're not allowed to but we're gonna get our torps off somehow we're gonna manage to hit only one not sure exactly how but I'm guessing he's turning fast enough but still surviving because of the skill <coughs> will to rebuild I mean sorry yeah, I'm just having some skill issues here because I'm getting punished by a hipper and it annoys me enough can you please just let me finish my job thank you and why not a double strike because we like those thank you very much we're gonna try to stop when we realize that we didn't cap the base yet and we're gonna need it because the team it's about to fold and me with my teammate on the K18 are gonna be the last one standing and just make sure that we're gonna grab the win I can give a very good job at this guy I think it was a Fiji on our team that holds the enemy as much as he could the whole time and the game is gonna, gonna reward him for that if not first he will be second on the leaderboard and it's a uh, tier 6 and as long as you do well on tier 6 and you have tier 7s above you the game will reward you for that and there we go we secure the cap and moving on taking our time now just to make sure we can do anything else for the team but at this point our team did just enough to secure the win we had bravo cup for if not half of the game at least half of the game and that helped enough for the points to guarantee our win and there is a Siri at some point killed the last two ships remaining and they still gonna have last ships remaining too as well Alabama did a great job but I'm guessing it was not enough to guarantee the win because it was one of those moments that you just wish your team could do a little bit more than what he did already and we can have a plane up just making sure if anything comes our way to spot him before he does all right there we go got the last time 
that they killed something and it's me and my teammate the last one standing here at some point I was thinking just to stop and allow my teammate to go forward uh, before I get hit by Alabama because it's not a ship that you want to get hit too often but for now we're just gonna allow our teammates to heal up as much as he can now the Helena had some skill issue and forgot that you cannot take out a cruiser and a battleship at the same time at this time of the game and he got the punishment for that and we're gonna just make sure he goes back to port allow the team to win even easier games like that don't happen way too often at this point because the game is not on its best situation at the moment people living people taking breaks not many new things are coming in the game and if they come it's not good enough i guess to make you want to play the game and that was one of the reasons i was uploading games less even though i have something saved but then you look twice and always something was missing what was missing on this game right here was a kraken that we're gonna try take but we failed because we lost our patience something that the enemy did as well and that's why they lost and again we're just stopping allowing our teammates to catch up on us and go forward If only Alabama was full health or at least half, I believe he could take the win for the team and have a Kraken at the same time, same like we have over here. Not any major damage or crazy numbers, but we did our job and that's what you want from the cruiser. As long as you have no DD, focus on something else and don't kite away. Secret it's not a ship that it's known for kiting away You can play it on distance, but you're gonna get disappointed because the guns they just not sniper guns and It's very difficult to hit ships from far away And now it's the time just to move on and get over with that game Everybody knows where's everybody. He knows I'm coming. We know he's coming What I was not sure it was if he was smart enough To run away from the torps or come right into us and he did the smart move and turned away Ah, I wish I had this type of teammates when I was playing solo just to have my battleship not throwing the game which he didn't throw the game but he did the right move that if they were having the points it would be something that even you want to do to survive there you go just american shells i can climb over the island same like my teammate and here is where we did the mistake. I thought we were angled just enough and I threw the torps way too early and not forward enough to secure the win. So we're just gonna allow our teammate to take the win for us and take an extra kill. And that was the moment we just go back to port. But before we do that, we just watch our disappointment and skill issue we have some time on the torpedoes i wonder why i have nine percent torpedo accuracy that was it for you legendary v19 over here you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and support me to my journey on becoming something about this game and help to get better 
and make more good content. Like my video if you really like it, if you don't, it's still fine. Thanks for watching for that and subscribe if you want to support my channel for more games like that. There you go, four for me, two for my teammate and really really good job Fiji. Double strike for the win as well. Thanks for watching, till next time.